MW3 is finally out, at least for those of us that took a trip to New Zealand. And I might have already gotten Gold Enigma on the MTZ. So I'll be trying to get Golden Enigma on our SVA as well. Now, just in case you don't know about the camo challenges in this game, they're a little bit different. Some are easy and some are kind of difficult to do. For example, in this, I had to get 250 kills with the SVA and zombies, which is basically like nothing. So we already went ahead and got that done. But now we also need to get five kills without releasing the trigger 20 times, which is such an odd challenge. And I have never seen this before in a COD game, but we got three out of 20 here. So we need to get a lot more done. We also need to get 250 kills in medium or high threat zones, which is a little more difficult if you haven't seen some of the zombie health in this game. And then for our last challenge here, we need to get 250 kills while having at least four perks active. And then once that's all done, we need to get 100 kills with the gun and successfully extract with it all in the same game. So let's go ahead, hop in and try to get this done. Now, I have been playing a lot of Modern Warfare Zombies. When I say a lot, I mean, I hopped on here when the game first came out and I streamed it for a close to eight hours playing just only zombies. And since I did play all that, I went and I collected a lot of nice items here so I can go ahead and apply this rare aether tool to my weapon. Now it's blue. I can apply this refined Ethereum crystal to get my weapon pack a punch too. And there it is. And then I also have three perk cans that I can add on. So we're starting this game out pretty stacked because I've already went into a few other games and extracted with all these items. Not normally you hop in with just about nothing. You have to go through and find it all. Like right here, I just found a uncommon aether tool. But now that I already went through, got all this stuff, came back into this game, I can go ahead and grind out my camels a lot easier. I've seen a lot of people kind of on the fence about this, not knowing if they'd like it or not, or if it'd be good or not. And I can honestly say, after my first day of playing it, you know, come back in a week and maybe the, the rose tinted goggles have come off. But my first day of playing this game, this mode feels like a better version of both DMZ and Outbreak. It takes all the good stuff from both modes and combines them together. The one thing I was a little concerned about when I first started playing it is it seems like you don't really get a whole lot of points. Like right here, I only have 140 points. I just took out a few zombies. You don't really get a whole lot per zombie kill. So the way I've tried to remedy this is if you look at the map here, you look for some of these contracts to do. You get about like 2000 points per contract that you do and you want to look for hold on zombie i'm talking you want to look for these ones right here the the ones with the moving stopwatch these are the best challenges in the game and you can just get points so fast and you get a decent amount of rewards i've also seen people worried about how like they don't know how they're gonna grind camos in this game because it does have dmc system with an insured weapon slot where if like you die with your weapon, you have to wait an hour to use it again. But you can decrease that amount of time by going in and like actually exfilling or completing contracts and things like that. But for the most part, once you get like a groove going and you like can get all your stuff, you don't die too often. Throughout the whole like eight hours of me playing, I think I only fully died in like four whole matches, which is like barely anything. But I've seen this strategy going around of how people are grinding out a lot of weapon XP and how people are grinding out a lot of camo. So I want to go try it out. And also, I just want to mention, you can't play this game solo. Like, you can't just boot in solo. Like, there's always going to be other players on the map. You can do no squad fill, so you can just join in on your own. But I have teammates here. They're going to be doing their own thing, and I'm going to be abandoning them. I'm going to go and do my own thing and try to get these camos done. Oh, no. Yeah, this whole place boarded off. This is the one thing I don't like about the mode is the enemy AI. Like, the, the little mercenaries going around on the map. They are annoying, and I would say to try to avoid any contract that has to do with them at all costs. Oh, and they just dropped a perk for me right here. So I already have speed coal, so I can pick up this perk, and I can put it into my backpack, and if I exfil successfully, then I'll be able to bring that into my next game. But as we're looking at in the challenges earlier, it says I need to get kills into like the medium or the high threat zones. And if we look at the map here, on the outside here, that's the low threat, and the orange here in the middle... That is the medium threat, and the red here is the high threat. That's where you're going to find, like, those mega abominations. And in those medium and high threat zones is we're going to find more elites. So we are in a medium threat zone here. I'm going to try to go to this exfil over here and show you guys this little method that's been going around. All right, to get to where we want to go, we're going to have to sneak through the high threat zone. And it is scary here. It's nothing but like super sprinters, the mega abomination like we were talking about earlier. And just hellhounds that are just on your ass, biting your ankles constantly. This place is dangerous. They were not messing around when they said, don't come here until you're ready. Like if you don't got full pack a punch, if you don't got like a decent amount of perks, this area is way too crazy. So let's go ahead and get the fuck out of there. But this is the strategy I was talking about. This comes from Philly Z. So shout out Philly Z. Go check them out if you haven't seen them already. But the strategy is just to call in exfils. And when you do that, an insane amount of zombies will spawn. So we're already in our medium threat zone here. 
meaning that all these kills are counting towards one of our camo challenges of getting kills in the medium threat zone. And this is a great way to get XP, get a lot of kills. Just constantly sit here and farm it. When the Exfil helicopter comes, just don't get on it. Leave it alone. You don't need to get on that. Wait till it goes away. Wait till it refreshes and then you can just do it again. Like this is great for getting weapon XP. It's great for killing a bunch of zombies at once. I just hope that they don't patch this out and I don't even know how they would. Because it's not like you're obligated to get on the Exfil helicopter when it comes in. They might just make the refresh times higher and I just... Please don't do that, COD. But when you go to spawn in, you get to pick your loadout and everything and what your tactical and lethal is. And if you have uh, the tactical of the decoy unlocked, use it. It takes a little bit to start going off. But if you remember how OP the decoys were in Cold War, they just do the same exact thing here. The zombies will just follow it around and not even pay you any mind. And it is just beautiful. So here comes our Axfell helicopter and we are not getting on it. We are staying right here. So it's just going to land for about like 35 seconds. If we don't get it on in the 35 seconds, it just leaves. And look at that. We've already leveled up twice since being here. But I think we might have cleared out all of the zombies. So helicopter, go ahead and take off. I really hope they don't nerf the amount of zombies that spawn either. Because my first time x feeling was just actually crazy. It felt awesome. Because in Outbreak, you don't see nearly that many zombies. I guess in the Outbreak's x fill you see a bit more than you would just roaming around the map. But it is an insane amount. Almost an overwhelming amount. And it makes it a lot more fun. And with this game's timer, it adds like a sense of urgency and a little bit more of a challenge to actually like upgrade your stuff and try to get all the way to this middle zone. It makes it a little more difficult. You need some planning going into it or you just need to be very, very efficient in getting your points. And I actually like it a lot. This is like what I wish DMZ was. It's like everything that makes that mode fun and replayable. And just like that, our x is ready to go again. That was like less than a minute. So we just call it in again. All the zombies are going to spawn in again. So this game brought over a lot of Cold War's elements. Like we have all the, like the Cold War field upgrades besides Ring of Fire, unfortunately. I'm actually kind of disappointed about that. But you start out with Energy Mine, which, you know, before you go ahead and judge, I didn't like Energy Mine that much in Cold War either, but it is so clutch in this game. Check this out. You just throw that down. Bam. Literally the entire horde's gone. And I just got almost a thousand XP instantly. But if I just throw a little decoy here... I can try to get all of our kills with while laying on the trigger. So let's see if we can do that. You just need five or more without letting go. We need to do that 20 times. Look at that. Already another level. The one problem I've had with this game is I have not seen camos pop up when I've completed them. Like I said, I might have accidentally gotten the MTC done or the MTZ. I actually accidentally got it done. I was planning on it. Like if you watch the stream, I was saying like the whole time, like, oh, I don't want to get gold on this yet. I want to wait for the video. And I just ended up accidentally getting it. Like, I left the game, I looked at my camo progress, and it was just done. So we'll have no idea if we get it done or not. Which is my main issue with it. But I think I'm going to sit here and grind this until I'm at, like, 15k. Because if you don't know, the Pack-A-Punch prices have changed a little bit. Pack-A-Punch 1 is still, like, the original 5k, which is not bad. Uh, the only place you can get Pack-A-Punch 1 at is in the low tier zones at those Pack-A-Punch machines. And then to get Pack-A-Punch 2, you need to move over to the next zone and go to that Pack-A-Punch machine. So if you go ahead and get Pack-A-Punch right here in this zone, you can't use it again. Well, you can use it on another gun that isn't Pack-A-Punch, but you can't get Pack-A-Punch 2 there. If you want Pack-A-Punch 2, you got to nut up and go all the way into here and find the next Pack-A-Punch machine, which is right there. And then if you get that and you want to get the Pack-A-Punch 3, you got to go into Big Boy Town over here and head on over to this Pack-A-Punch machine. Oh, okay. There's Topo Ghost or Topo Ghast. Maybe I've seen the normal or the base camos pop up, but just not gold. Unless I just wasn't paying attention. But I'm sure they'll get that ironed out. It is like literally day zero of the game. Like it's not even really supposed to be out yet for me. And I think like the further along the game gets, the more zombies will spawn when you try to exfil. So it only gets better doing this. And we're at about 14k. So let me just try to find a quick little mission to do. I'll go do this. The one I was talking about earlier. And then we'll go get Pack-A-Punch and go explore the big boy zone. Maybe take out an abomination or two. Probably just one though. They're, they're pretty tough to take out. This is my favorite mission right here. I'll do like 12 of these in a game. You just hop over here, open the door, grab this HTV, and then you drive to the waypoint that they set for you. Let's not drive into the water. That probably would not be good. But this one is very straightforward. It's as fast as you make it. Sometimes the waypoints are kind of far away. Sometimes they're like right down the road. So it can vary between being like a minute or two long, which is basically nothing. You don't got to fight anything really, unless you like got to fight the people to open the door. Most of the time you just get in the vehicle, you drive to where it's got to go and you're done. And then you get to keep the vehicle afterwards. Where's the fucking bridge? Oh, here it is. Also, there's a small problem of the helicopter chasing you, shooting at you with like bullets and rockets and things like that. But most of the time, it don't even really hit you. The only time you got to worry about it is if like 
you run into a wall or you like get stuck on something and it can fuck you up. But just try not to run over too many zombies because you can see right here, I've already taken like a decent amount of vehicle damage just from me running into shit. But if you drive good, try to stay away from running into, into hordes of zombies, you'll be all right. But all you got to do is like you see this helicopter right there flying above that, our little icon. You just have to drive on into here. Let's hope I can squeeze through. Sweet. And then you just drive under the hook. It picks up the stuff and you're done. And then you can come over here to your, your reward and grab whatever's in here. Oh, we got cashmeres. Give me those. Mortar strike and PhD flopper. And now we just get this car. So where's Pack-A-Punch at? Right over here. And I always do this thing where I read out all the camo challenges and I tell you guys what they are, but then I forget them immediately. So I think I had to do the four perk challenge, like get the kills with four perks active. And I think I only had three perks active that whole time. So we might have to go back and do the x thing. Also, there's a mega abomination. What's going on, dude? We'll come back for you later. And Pack-A-Punch is right on in here. Let's go ahead and grab it real quick before we get bombarded. I went the wrong way around the boxes. Give me that. Now we have pack a punch three weapon. Let's hit a quick nuke on him. Get back in our car and get the fuck out of here. We'll come back to the spot in a minute. Now, one thing I don't know is like if I unlock the golden enigma challenge like mid game, like if I get all my base camos done, do I have to get the another 100 kills or has it been counting the 100 kills the whole time? I guess we'll find out. Let me knock these kills out real quick. And since we are doing this challenge that is like get like X amount of kills with four perks active, you don't have to worry about going down. As you go down in this mode, you don't lose your perks. I think they decided that it was just too much to go all the way around this big ass map trying to get all your perks back every time you went down that you just hang on to one if you go down. So even if you fuck around and get knocked on your ass, you can still just keep knocking out your camos if you have a way to get back up. Oh, there we go. We got our chaos camo. So now we need just 100 kills while x filling or 100 kills with the same gun in the same game in x fill which ironically you can get done by just hitting the x fill I don't know if that's irony or not. I have a very uh, flim grasp on the English language. I think I even fucked that up. I have a very weak grasp on the English language. I, okay, whatever. I'm done. I'm here to game, not speak. I guess I got to do both. Y'all understand. Y'all get it. Why say many word when few do trick? All right, I think we're probably about good on our camos. I haven't seen gold pop up, but we might just have it already. Let's head on into the danger zone. That's the part where it gets scary. Because some of these zombies are super fucking fast and I have no armor. So I'm trying to haul ass all the way over to this shop. And the fucking mega abomination showed up. This guy is not to be fucked with. It is way too strong. Oh, you don't want to get caught in that laser either. That thing will stun you like crazy. It's almost like certain death if you get caught in it. Oh, and the shop's right in the middle of this place? I didn't even fucking know. Okay, I might need to use a cashmere to actually even use it. So, cashmere go. Let's hope that this guy don't get me. Let's grab... Um. Oh, I can buy cashmeres here? That's crazy. Let me get armor plates. And let me get the fuck out! So, normally, the easiest way to take these guys out is that there's little turrets around the map. They uh, look like this on the map. They're, they're called deadbolt turrets. That's why it's called Operation Deadbolt, I think. I don't know. But to even use them, you need to find a circuit, which are, they're like ammo mod circuits, not like the ammo mods that you can put on your gun. They're, they're separate from that. They're just called like the same thing. It'll be like, you know, cryo free circuit or something like that. Or it might actually just be called deadbolt circuit. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, really. But if you find one of those and you toss it in the gun, it'll just go off for a while. It's like a really good sentry gun and it'll basically take out any zombie that goes near it like one at a time including the mega abominations it just like does damage to them it does work so we're gonna have to do work against this abomination if we want to get it done we also have five minutes until xfil technically ends we still have like another 15 minutes after it but five minutes until like the aether storms start which like a cloud of like acid rain will start moving around that'll damage you if you're near it this is a big fucking bastard Oh my god. It's like every time he touches you, you get stunned like crazy. I think I got one of his faces. I'm just using this little guard in here to protect me and it apparently does not work. Because he could just run right through it. Oh no. Okay. I need a quick little self-revive here. And I need to throw a cashmere. And I need to run. Um, Let's make sure we have another self-revive equipped. Okay. Cool. Do we have anything in here that I can use to my advantage? I'll grab those, I guess. And we're getting nothing done on this guy. I don't even think I equipped those the shits I picked up. We're down again. Okay, we need to leave. I don't want to lose all this shit. I can actually use this on the ground. That's sweet. I don't think you can pick yourself up off the ground, though. 
with quick revive if you even have it you can kind of shoot on the ground you can knife on the ground things like that but you cannot actually get yourself back up um give me stamina up so i can get the fuck out of here also there's a wonder fizz right there there's a lot to show you in this little area but uh not a whole lot of time to be safe and look at it like they weren't kidding when they said this area is like a high round like it's like standing still on round 100 so uh let's make like a tree and get the fuck out of here oh there's another big fucker oh don't you fucking shoot the laser at me we don't need that Get me the hell out of here. I guess before we fully get out of here, we'll clear one of these areas. This is like a, a zombie nest, I think they call it. It just has a bunch of these like little cysts everywhere on the wall. And it's almost like the crystal event from Outbreak, but a little more difficult. Like the goal is obviously to break them all, but when you start it, a bunch of zombies will spawn. So this is also a pretty decent event to get kills if you don't want to do the whole, uh, you know, exfil thing. But you get some pretty decent loot from actually completing it. So let me throw that down. I think we just need like one more cyst. There it is. So those are all broken. The zombies will still stay after you break the cyst. They won't disappear like with the crystal vent when that ends. You get a nice little max ammo for it. And you also get one of these chests, which, oh, I have a circuit, but... I don't think there's any guns nearby now, but this is the circuit you want to look for. I guess it's just, oh, it is a shatter blast turret circuit. So the turret would just have shatter blast on it, which is pretty cool. Well, let's go ahead and call in our actual exfil chopper and get out of here. Oh shit. This is what I was talking about before. There's so many more zombies trying to exfil late game. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Zombies can also come onto the helicopter. So your fight's not over the second you get on here. You gotta keep fighting for your fucking life when you're taking off. And we made it out. Let's see if we actually got gold though. And what did we make it out with? I honestly don't remember everything. So we got a Aether Tool, Speed Cola Can, Deadwire Ammo Mod, and Shatter Blast. And we got 42,000 XP from that? Yeah, because I had 1,700 kills in that game. That's ridiculous. That is an insane amount of XP. Now the moment of truth. Did we get Golden Ivory or whatever it's called? What? All right, we got to hop back in and get this done, I guess. All right, we got a new mission this time around. Actually, it's kind of the same mission. Get gold enigma and then try to find some cool shit to exfil with. Let's go ahead and use all of our shit in here. Give me dead shot. Give me speed coal. I'll take that wrench. Throw shadow blast on there and pack a punch it. Looks like our teammates are already doing the exfil thing. Can't blame them. One thing I want to try though is because my teammate is still just sitting there hitting the same exfil over and over again. So I don't want to take any of his kills or he take any of my kills. I wonder if one team can have two exfils going at the same time. I'm going to go try it out. Let's see. Looks like I can call it in. I don't know if he's still doing his, but I'm doing mine, that's for sure. I guess we'll see if gold actually pops up in game or if it's just the base camos that do. I don't know if I can. Either that or this isn't resetting, but my teammate's currently doing an exfil. Oh, no, wait. I almost talked myself out of it. So we can do two at the same time. They're over there doing it. I'm over here doing it. So that's good to know. Good information. So I'm going to check how many kills I have in this game. All I get is the attack map. The squad missions. That's it. All right. If this isn't our 100 kills right here and we still end up not having gold, then the challenge is busted. I've gotten a decent amount of kills this game. I wouldn't. I looted a little extra bit just to see if we could find anything cool and we really didn't. <gasps> oh my God. I almost got fucking crushed by the helicopter. I right, know. Let's just get out of here before I make a terrible mistake. And we're Oscar Mike. So for this run, we got a PhD and a stamina up. And that's about it. I didn't see a gold pop up. Yeah, so I got 560 zombie kills. Let's see them screw me on this. There we go, golden enigma. I'll take it. And here is what our SVA looks like with golden enigma on it. Ain't she a beaut? Honestly, this is a really nice gold camo. This is like miles and miles above what golden viper looks like, to be honest. That's a sweet. And it has all those little like gold accents on it in the white there. Those are all just different gun outlines, which works perfectly for zombies. They look like wall buys. Beautiful gun. But that's where I'm going to go ahead and end the video. We're already well on our way to grinding out some zombies camos in here. And I'm actually loving it. Again, come back to me in like a week or two when all the, the nostalgia or the, the new game goggles are off. And we'll see if I still like the mode. But for right now, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm liking it a lot more than I thought I would. But thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.